you're going to want to do is take the anti-rattle clip off, channel on it, squeeze it, put the tension off, and just pop it off. The Allen heads in here, 7 mil. Allen head, 7 mil. The new escapes are 9. Like 08 on. Same idea though. You're going to want to use an extension, 3 inch. So you get past this hose that's right here. There's the pin. It's fully unscrewed. You just need to slide it back so it's not interfering with the bracket anymore. Just enough to get out of the way. Now you're going to want to take a C clamp. I use a wood clamp. It's a lot easier to handle. Just like that. Just tighten it. You don't compress the piston. Pull it soft. Let it hang as long as you don't. Pull it around. This pad just falls off. You're going to want to uh, finish compressing the piston in. Same thing. The little pad. It's going until it stops. You'll know what's done. Then you can take the old pad out. And we're one. May or may not run across this. See how it's all poofy? Instead of fold it over nice like that, it's because there's air trapped in there. It may or may not happen. Just need to stick a pick or whatever closer to the uh, you know piston, not to the boot. You don't want to stick the boot. It's just a dust boot, but lift up. You'll see I, there's a little, out of the groove there. Took all the air out. And now it folds nice. So it's out of the way of the piston contact area here with the uh, pad, you know. It's all folded up properly then. Pack it down. Got all the excess dust and threw it out again. Not perfect, but it's cleaned off. Of all the rough stuff in the contact areas. And back here. Right there, right there, it's 18 mil bolt, pull those out, and this caliper bracket right here will basically fall out. To break the grip, you're going to want to hit it, the rotor, for changing it. Even if you're not changing it, you don't want to hit it here. You're going to ruin the surface, and you're going to be on the outboard side, so you might warp it too. But we're changing it, and even if we weren't changing it, you would hit here. Anywhere here. An angle, and it'll break the grip of the rust here and on the face which you'll see so we'll see if I can do this with one handed just avoid the, the studs obviously don't do it one handed concentrate what you're doing this one came off kinda easy some brake clean Real quick wipe down. I do not put any anti seize in this area because all it does is get on the threads and then your wheel falls off. Okay, the new rotor just, you know, obviously falls on. Push it on like that, it'll kick out the bottom. Um, these, these are motorcraft ones, they don't have no oil on them or nothing. I don't even clean them. 
They're they're so perfect from the factory. If you get anything aftermarket, they're gonna have oil on them um, to prevent rust while uh, storage. So you're gonna want to hit them with brake clean while they're off, front and back, and then wipe them down. A lot of guys put lug nuts on here, back on. I usually don't. I just deal with it. I think it's faster. But I'll show you why they do it. Just put them on. So basically as far as they can go. Just by hand. And you can see it holds it perfect on there. As if it were mounted up. Therefore, we put the bracket on over here. It won't be flopping on you. Makes it easier to mount the bracket up. You're gonna want to wire brush the uh, caliper bracket here where the pads ride. Just regular wire brush again. Let's get in there. Break clean. Get your fingers in there and get all the scale and grease out of there. Something like that. Not perfect, but not overly grown with rust where it's going to affect pad sliding action. Okay, you're going to want to put some dielectric compound on there. Silicone brake caliper grease. You're gonna want to get the silicone stuff. Looks like that's thick. You're gonna want to put it in all the areas where the pad rides on, like that. This inner part, where the, this is where the rotor goes. I'm gonna make sure this edge right here is clear. It's not big gunk sticking over here. It's about that much on there. Enough. This will quiet the pad up and it'll provide free movement. Anti chatter, anti click, all kinds of stuff. It's thicker stuff, it's resistant to heat. Does it all. Just don't put too much on it, don't get it in the center part. It'll look something like that. Just enough on there, nothing, nothing too crazy and sloppy. What you're gonna wanna do is Put a, a, a decently thick layer on here, all the way around. Something just like that, you can see how thick it is. This can be a little sloppier. That's the ear of the caliper on the inside here. So there's the piston, here's the ears on the other side. Again, you can get a little thicker and sloppier here because it's in the back side of the pads. And this prevents all those oscillating squeaks and all that. Lots of noise gets eliminated with this stuff. Put it on every brick job. Cleaned up, and you bolt this bracket back up. Your bolts, put uh, blue Loctite on them. About that much. It'll spread around by itself. Thread it in by hand. Work spec is 111. Do not mess around with brakes. Always torque them. Make sure they're tightened. Down 115, they got Loctite on them. I take the outboard pad, nothing on it, dry. It just falls in here. It's there. As you can see, this rotor's not flopping anywhere. This is a, this was easier to get on the bracket. 
and this just sits in there perfectly. So it is nice, but for speed you can do it the other way. This one just snaps into the hollow part of the caliper. So I get all three gears in there. After that, just fall around it here. See the ears are in the where they slide on the bracket there. Same thing with this side, you can see it. Okay, these are the the pins. The actual slide guide pins. Um, these you don't have to put Loctite on. Just torque them this back. Um, the outside here is where it slides and the and the rubber boot. So you're going to put the same silicone dielectric grease on there and uh, stick them back in the caliper. It's a thick enough coat all the way around. And then they go right back into the boot here. You're going to want to do this by hand. You can kind of look between there and see you're in the threads. You'll be able to feel it too. Also be able to tell because your pin will start to actually disappear into the rubber boot. On these, don't forget the there's uh, there's uh, these little dust boots. One top, one bottom. So that those are fully tightened. Pads are in their grooves. Caliber anchor bolts are tightened 115. Just kind of recheck all your brake parts. I know this one on the bottom are tightened. I know that one and that one are tightened for the caliper pins. So you make sure everything's secure. One thing we got left is the bracket right here. Now in order to put this anti-rattle clip on here, it's a little complicated. I'm going to do it without the camera in my hands. Um, these can stay dry. These holes where it goes into. Right here, where the ears sit, you'll see marks. You'll see witness marks from before. Put some dielectric grease there too. Right there. More complicated part. You're going to want to put the ear down there, out, hook this ear in the hole here. Okay, it's all hooked in there. Then you're going to want to put this ear behind here, and then you're going to hit this right there into the hole with a hammer and it'll kind of pop. Let's just put your wheel on. The spec on the lug nuts is 100. Um, before you put the wheel on, you're going to want to check. Make sure everything is right. You don't want anything coming apart, going on the road.